Hey everybody, my name's John. Um, new to the Headrush community. Um, I picked up this uh, Headrush pedal board, I don't know, probably about a week ago or so. Um, I'm a fractal guy. Um, I uh, usually play out of uh, uh, an Axe Effects uh, 2 uh, XL. And um, I have to say, and I hope nobody gets mad at me, but the fractals better. There's no question about it. I think that Fractal uh, nailed the uh, 12AX7 uh, tube sound uh, better than the uh, Head Rush. I'm not saying that the Head Rush, you know, uh, pedal board is, is not good. It is. It's really good. Um, just a little couple things that the Fractal um, sound is, is better. Um, now, with that said, um, it's totally usable, and I'm going to use this for gigging and uh, recording, you know, some of my uh, passes uh, on my recording software at home. Um, I'm a uh, kind of like a chug metal guy, you know, uh, grew up in the 80s, um, really into, uh, you know, the old metal uh, priest and all that stuff, uh, you know whatever. Um, I'm also into the new stuff too, you know, that's out. Um, but, uh, anyway, um, I don't want to bore you with my music background, but anyway, um, I made a patch and, um, I'm using the, uh, Soldano 100, uh, which is this guy right here. And, um, the model is the, uh, 89 SL 100 extended range. Um, and I saved, of course, uh, you know, a preset because this is, uh, you know, what I have going on in my preset. Um, I will upload this patch if, if people want it. Um, I don't know how to upload, uh, these things. Uh, I don't know if I need to upload every preset that I have, you know, because all these are, I saved as presets, you know, um. I use that one here, and this is all my settings, but uh, all my uh, pedals are, uh, of course, I tweak them all. So um, I don't know if I just need to upload the rig, I guess. Uh, I guess somebody will have to explain that to me. But anyway, uh, getting back uh, to it, um, uh, this is like a real kind of like percussive um, patch, I guess, and it's like kind of really in your face. Um, I'm getting most of the tone, uh, out of the IR, which is a, uh, this is a Mesa Boogie, um, oversized cab from, uh, ML, ML Labs, um, that of course I, uh, also tweaked, you know, my high cut, you know, you can see that right there and my low cut is, uh, set at 139. Um. And the reason why I do that is, like, you know, if you set this up, like, I don't know, it's going to be hard to hear this uh, because I'm recording on a, you know, a stupid iPhone. But uh, anyway, it, it's kind of hard to hear this. But uh, I guess if you put headphones on and what I'll try to do is um, upload, um, I'll upload the, the track that I'm working on with this tone so you'll get the know what I'm talking about but uh, for right now and the reason why I have this cut so high <laughs> I'm also using a um, uh, LTD uh, this is an active guitar uh, with 8185s uh, uh, I'm currently on the bridge pickup 81. So uh, just to give you an idea, uh, right now I have the chorus is off. And so the only thing I really have running in here, it's not very much, it's just a, you know, an, an overdrive, the head. Um, I'm running a, a, a parametric EQ with some settings that I have. I'm running a, uh, the 11 uh, reverb. And what I have going on with that is I have, um, it, it's set for like, 
a room, I guess you could say. It's it, it's like a room, but with hardly any tail at all. And I think it's really good to do that because if you start getting into like um, heavy reverbs on your uh, your rhythm patch, it really muddies up shit, you know. You hear that like short tail? Hear it? That's what you kind of want, you know? Well, that's what I want anyway, you know? Uh, you guys, you know, if you want this patch, you're gonna have to tweak it anyway uh, to your guitar, uh, especially the EQ, and also the uh, IR uh, needs to be tweaked too, because I don't like really any of that mud in my patches, and you get a lot of mud um, if you have your, your low cut uh, set, um, I guess too low it would be, um, then you start getting those sub lows in it, you know what I mean? And you don't want that, especially in recording, you know, because the, you're only going to pull them out anyway, you know what I mean? So why not just take care of it right now and, and just pull them out, you know? And that's what I did. I'm high cut all the way up to 139. That sounds good to my ears. <laughs> So, um, I'm just gonna play, um, I'm gonna play to a track that I'm working on right now. This is called Living Hell. Um, it's uh, very fresh into its stage right now, so I really don't have that much recorded on it. I have the uh, first verse, um, chorus, and then a second verse, which I'm going to cut off um, so it's not so long for you guys to listen to this. Right now you're talking, it's going to be, uh, it's about, I don't know, it looks like about minute 30 seconds or something like that. You know what I mean? So uh, right now I have um, just a bass guitar. Uh, these are, uh, this is Easy Drummer. I mean, I'm sorry, a Superior Drummer uh, with my own... Um, uh, kit uh, that I uh, have a preset for. Uh, I have uh, two beginning guitars that come in with a, a picking, which I have set up on this also. Um, I can show you that later if you want. Um, and then, uh, of course, I have vocals and uh, two rhythm guitar tracks. Um, and uh, the one rhythm guitar track uh, that is panned uh, I pan at 96. The one that's panned left uh, is muted right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, record uh, the left guitar. Uh, the right one is is already recorded. So let's uh, let's see what that sounds like. Here we go. Uh, I'm using um, uh, Cakewalk uh, BandLab. Great program. Really, really awesome in my opinion. It's uh, tremendous, actually. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, run this uh, uh, left guitar uh, rhythm track right now, and then uh, we'll we'll do that. So I'm gonna push this uh, camera down so you can see the playing the playing. I guess you know. I hope you can get. Hope I get this in there. It should should pick it up. I guess so. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's go for this recording right now. Here we go. The picking guitars right now, and then just the start of the track. I'm gonna come in in a minute. Well, here we go.
that ends that right there, and uh, I just recorded that pass. Uh, so let's uh, let's hear that back, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll conclude this because uh, I'm done. <laughs> uh, there's no more really else I can explain this. Uh, if you like, I said if you want to just let me know and. Let me know how I do this. I think I save it as a rig, I guess, and then upload it. But I, I guess I could upload it to um, to Dropbox. Let me put this camera back the way it was. <coughs> sort of like the way it was, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, um, and I'll upload... Um, this track too um, that I just uh, did but uh, here it is uh, with that track that I just added so now I got um, I got two rhythm two rhythm guitar tracks uh, uh, panned uh, 96 left 96 right um, and a bunch of other tracks too is you know going on you know I had the beginning picking guitars uh, I have some uh, some lead-ins also on this but uh, anyway here it is right here, and uh, two, three, four. I got so far uh, you know with this track uh, like I said I'll you know I'll upload uh, I'll upload this track so you can like hear it um, without being on a uh, you know a cell phone um, you know probably uh, you know if you want to earbud it or whatever or play it through your stereo in your car you know whatever you want to do uh, but anyway so uh, that's what I got with this with this track I mean with this uh, <coughs> um, with this patch right here, and uh, I'll tell you what, that Soldano uh, amp is, uh, amp model's really, it's badass, you know. I uh, also like the uh, uh, the PV2, the 5150, that's a really good uh, model also. Um, I like to mess with the JCM 800 too, because uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that, but uh, this Soldano is just, I don't know, it's just got Seems like it's got a lot more, it's got a lot more bite, you know? <laughs> uh, to me, it sounds like it's got a really lot of bite, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, oh yeah, I wanted to, uh, just before I go, I want to show you um, the picking part in the very beginning. Um, I made a... Um, Let me see. I made a. I made a. Uh, this this I'm use, using the Soldano also, I believe. Yeah, it's the it's the clean the clean uh, preset, but I also tweaked it. You know, tweaked it over there, and this is all the stuff that I have going on with that right now. So it's. <laughs> good for recording I love the way this thing sounds um, you know it's uh, they did a really good job on it I mean I'm you know um, like I said I'm a fractal guy um, the axe effects you know kind of like um, it sounds better to me uh, it's a little smoother um, the uh, like I said they nailed the uh, 12 ax7 uh, tone uh, which is really great for uh, pinch horns and stuff like that. 
you know, you can definitely get pinch horns with this too that sound good, you know, but it's a little bit over the top with the fractal. Uh, they kind of like nailed it exactly. Uh, you know, I don't know what he did, but uh, he nailed it. And uh, I think that this model, this modeler, if they spend a little bit more time with trying to get that, that 12 AX7 nailed, I think this unit would be really good. And for the price, it's it's awesome for the price, believe me. I mean, you know, you, you buy it new, it's, what is it, $1,100? You can get them used, I think, for about seven, seven, eight hundred now. Um, I know it's an old unit. Um, you know, on the other hand, you know, the fractal stuff is, you know, is double, sometimes triple the, you know, triple, because you're dealing with, uh, you know, especially if you're using uh, the rack mount stuff with fractal, which I have, then you got to buy the expression pedals and, and the board and stuff like that. So it, you know, it runs you, you know, runs you a lot. <laughs> you don't even want to know how much I paid for my fractal unit and my expression pedals and stuff stuff like that but uh anyway um i hope you enjoy uh enjoy this uh like i said if you guys are into this kind of uh tone um feel free to hit me up you know and let me know how i upload this and where i can upload it probably dropbox i guess you know unless uh the, the facebook head rush site has a file sharing thing or something but uh i'll do that i'll upload it for you if you want and like i said you're gonna have to tweak it uh, to your guitar because if you're not using actives uh, it's going to sound totally different you know what I mean uh, and uh, it's well you know you guys know what it's all about you know the guitar you know a guitar is a guitar you know it, it, they all have their different um, uh, characters characteristics and uh, so you'll have to you know EQ it to your liking and um uh, uh, also the IR too, you may want to tweak because, uh, like I said, I have, I have it rolled off pretty heavy, you know, and you can hear it too. I mean, if you want to like to, I'll give you a, for instance here, you hear that? Like, now watch when I, when I turn this, when I turn the, the low cut down, even, even to a hundred. You hear how much, hear how much, uh, sub lows is in it now? It, it, that sucks. You can, you don't want to use, you don't want to be, you don't want to have these sub lows in, you know, in your recordings for sure. Uh, you want it, you, you know, you want it to cut through. Hear all that sub lows? That's, I mean, it might sound cool with your ears or whatever, but you're, you know, it's like, fuck that, you know? No good, in my opinion. So anyway, um, hope you guys uh, liked this vid and uh, you know, I'll get everything uploaded shortly. All right, have a good one, bye-bye. Let me know if you guys want this patch or not and uh, let me know how I save it. All right, see it.